right now, Fal. I think you should be called the Parfessor because all this do young man does is rack up par. Parfessor. I love that actually. Dude, oh, oh, he's the Parfessor. He's the Parfessor. Let's go. And if you're looking for collaborations, try and reach out. Sister, we reached out to almost everyone. Now we need to rely on you in the comment section down below to bring us the top golf courses within Fort Collins. Never been there. And we might go there and celebrate golf with you based on some of these comments. But right now, let's look at the top four courses we could find and play within this area. Let's start off with Potomagan Country Club. At a 4.5 out of 5, this private golf course does offer public play every once in a while it's a jack nicholas designed course it is private and it might be really hard to get on it but they do offer public days it stretches along 7,000 one 207 yards being first built in 1988 the course does remain the same to this day and is a complete gem for PGA golf. The golf season's from February to the end of October, stretching a long 7,255 yards at the championship course with a slope of 145 and a rating of 73.2. It's unfortunate to add a private golf course as our number one, but it's also important to note that this list is an independent golf channel. We just want to turn it into more of a Reddit field down in the comment section. So we use your comments in, in the hopes of coming back and bringing the top golf courses video update video in the near future. Until then, let's look at our third golf course, which we know is public. It's a municipal course, City Park 9 Golf Course. It's a 4.3 out of 5 on Google with 203 golf reviews to choose from. Although it's a municipal 9-hole golf course, it does kind of get everyone loose because it was first built in 1940. With all this rich history, you would think, wow, well, there's some good golf left on this list. But since it's only a 9-hole golf course, it's hard not to put it a little bit past it. But there's not much golf out here. With 3,325 yards to choose from, this par... 36 has three different tee boxes to choose from, and for the most part, is one of the top nine hole executive golf courses within the area. And for 20 something dollars, you could play this course. As we move into the top two courses, it's important to subscribe down below for more videos of the professor. We do golf vlogs, we do golf reviews, we do everything golf related. Let's swing on into our second golf course here. South Ridge Golf Course with a 4.2 out of 5 on Google. It has 258 golf reviews to choose from. It's on 127 acres of land, which it's located on. It hosts pretty much the first tee program and other major like youth golf events. It was built in 1991 by Carl Olson, and it, it stretches along 7,047 yards with a slope of 130. The pictures kind of give it the best justice. This is a nice golf course with ryegrass greens, and it's open year-round. It is a rating of 72.6, and with four different tee boxes to choose from and backdrops that are almost amazing, one would kind of get this started as a championship course on this list. As we continue to bring you the top golf courses in this area, and more importantly, on the East Coast, where we're technically bringing those golf reviews, we're going to have to ask, again, for you to subscribe down below to the professor. We consistently ask because we're going to consistently try to bring you that golf content. And swinging into our number one golf course, Allendale Golf Course. It's a 4.5 out of 5 on Google with 260 golf reviews to choose from. It's the king of Fort Collins and a championship golf course in the, I want to say not Denver area, but at least in the Colorado state. This course has been rated a top golf course almost year in and year out throughout most major golf outlets. If you've played this course, you probably know that it's a top destination being first built in 1971. The slope of this course is a 127 and a rating of 72.3. It stretches a long 7,026 yards being open year round and designed by Frank Mel. It's one of the top destinations for golf in the state. If you made it this far, keep a lookout for more videos to come. We're an educational golf content.